This video is sponsored by Cyanite Esports, the home of affordable professional Overwatch coaching. Our wide variety of highly skilled coaches will work with you one on one to develop a program tailored to your needs, and with our 100% satisfaction guarantee, you won't be disappointed. Check out the link in the video description to learn more. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what the f <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so we're gonna look at how that fight evolved. No, no, we're gonna look at their comps first. We're gonna look at that they're too. They're the games differently. Like, first of all, Finland is running exactly what we run, except with a soldier instead of the Sombra. I like that. Um, and then there's China, which is running dying with the farm. Mark? Okay, I, we're backing I up. What's happening. Okay, so they both go. Th yeah, they both go for a bridge. Play it kind of medium-ish range, so they got their 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 DPS in there. Um, I think the reason they end up doing better is because China screws up by doing like committing over to this side like that. I think they did that because their Winston was getting low because their only main healer for China was the Mercy, so they don't have mm -hmm. that many heals and the soldier just keeps that, that consistent mm -hmm. damage. Mm -hmm. So I think the D.Va was peeling for the Winston, and then she didn't have her booster, so she got pooped. Yeah. Okay. The fight is basically lost when... Here. When when Winston hides away from his team. Like, the only way you're surviving is if instead, from here, you go this way. Like, this this set his team up Who for are failure. are you protecting anyway? What was that? Who are, Who are what, you shielding? Who are you helping out? You're not. You're literally doing nothing for your team if you back. You know, you take cover that's further away from your team. So let's look at it again. So he takes some damage, like right here. If so, I mean, it's it's hard to to realize. I think he's also been discorded at this point. Yeah. Um, it's hard to predict that. And like as a team, you would want to be going in here, like trying to get towards point, maybe get an angle. You're dive. You're aggressive. You want to go in. But if you take more damage first. You have to be in. You, you become more defensive, and that's like and huge alpha strike potential here. Farah, I, I, I mean, I, I love the new Farah. I think she's really strong, but you have no presence on the ground. You literally just have your two tanks, and like, where the heck is even Sombra? <laughs> Look at her translocator location. That's just far enough back to be safe, but it's also right where the supports are playing, so that you get healed up immediately. You're, you're with your team. Because I've had a few times where like just random damage has will destroy it. Yeah, but this isn't this isn't really that exposed because you got to remember this is like an incline. You can't see this ground from all oh, of over a here. There's statue right there. There yeah, is. Putting it behind the rock would be better. Yeah, but better. if they yeah, had like a sombra or like some other flanker who could be behind there, you do mm -hmm. have to like mm -hmm. hide it better. Okay. Next fight. Oh my God, goats! They just go goats. Yeah. They just went goats. I was just going to say, what if Finland was up against Goat? We're about to see. Okay, so they went white room. How does Finland react? You can hardly see anything. So they back out completely. Look at that. Like, completely out of the point. They just let... Yeah, they can't brawl. Okay. So they completely moved out of the point. <laughs> <laughs> they, they touched long enough to, get, to keep contesting, but never commit. Yeah, obviously not the smart... Yeah, I and I'm commenting on this right now, but there's no need for the brig to just be standing there, and they get punished for that. So from the very beginning, yeah, watching old and health health pool. So Finland's down a little bit. So that's the one weakness of this comp with these three healers. You're very slow to recover. So this damage that happens here, this damage that happens here. Look how slowly that's recovering. Because the Lucio has also just been on speed most of that time. And and waiting for your wins. So at this point in time, you're expecting your... Like if someone takes damage and backs out, they're out for maybe like two or three seconds with a normal comp. With this comp, they're out for a heck of a lot longer. He got a, he had to go for a health pack. That's what that was. So he goes for a health pack, probably the one that's like way over there. And finally he's able to come back, but it's too late. I feel like they what they should have done is continue the, the strat where they like backed out all over here just keep backing out until the until they're ready to go in or because of the, the nature of this comp they just need to go uh, try to go in on them instead of giving them the space 
No, I think they just accepted that they weren't going to be mm -hmm. able to control the point the moment Goats was actually on the point, so they were just trying to solve as long as possible. Yeah, there's that too, that too. Definitely, definitely. So they've swapped to Zarya, Ryan. They're going Goats. They're going Goats. They are With Goats. Zen. With the Zen. You're very correct. They're going to White Room. And China's going to meet them there. But China has all the ult advantage. So, oh, I remember, remember this play. Okay, so this is super duper important. Um, please watch very closely. Look at look at the D.Va and the enemy team. Okay. Oh, D.Va going in from the side. That's interesting. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, eats the grab. Oh my oh, god. Oh, it's so big brain. Okay. Oh. This is actually oh kind of interesting. Oh my god, that is why, that's why the diva was there when you commented in the control center. Yes. She was there yes, waiting for the yes, grab. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, See, my head. See, I didn't even realize it until seeing it now for the third time. I, I, this is my third time seeing everything, and I, yeah, it makes sense. So, I don't like it. <laughs> I, still don't, I still don't like it. Oh! She just saved okay, the team fight. Okay, take note of that play. We need to we need to analyze that later. Like that's going in a video. I mean, they lose anyway. Exactly. They it's... didn't lose because the diva was not, was in that position. They lost because they had an overwhelming ult disadvantage. They shattered Brick. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Anode. Yeah, yeah they so, used, they used everything. Survival. Yeah, like eating a grab was inconsequential against all of that. But still, it's it's very interesting. We should consider yeah. doing that. Oh, like, yeah. The, the point is, they they forego Diva's presence yeah. in the team fight for a chance to eat the grab. Mm -hmm. Fair, but they ended up losing anyway because of the overall overall like advantage. Now you can also argue that because the grab was eaten, China invested more ultimates. That too. So this I know. I I I I like it. But I also don't think it's something we want to do. That's how okay. That that's yeah, what no. we're gonna boil it down to. It's a it's a okay. huge play. It's really cool that it happened, and it's definitely something to consider doing. Let's look at how she gets oh, left. Oh, eats the grab. Oh, it's so big brain. Oh. She got too aggressive. She got too aggressive. If she stays over yeah. here, she can react to stuff happening. But by getting in here and trying to like focus healers. Instead of just Zara's so, already at twenty five percent. Yeah, so she could have she could have done a couple of things. She could either have boosted in, and at least then you get slept in here. You die more quickly with the rest of your team. Um, you fly around. You you stay further away here, just spamming and being a nuisance until you got your off cooldowns. So the first we we we've done the whole cheesecake thing. So taking a little bit of damage, bubbling the Rhine. But this is how I want it to to be more often. Zarya gets a little bit of charge, sure, on herself, but then the first bubble on the Rhine is immediately being put to use, putting on pressure and doing more damage for the Rhine. It's not just damage, not just building charge for Zarya. And that that's just like the perfect orchestration of it. We'll just watch it through smoothly once. The fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So many ultimates. And like, I, I'm sure we all saw the shatter happen, and yeah. we're like, "Oh, Finland win." Nope. So why? But they beat. Yeah. So it, it's not just defense ults. It's the fact that they didn't have all their damage there. So we'll look at this from about here. So they go in for the aggressive uh, bomb, yeah, bomb for zoning. And that immediately, like I, I've, I've talked about, immediately opens it up to get grabbed. They didn't know that they were good, that the Zarya had grabbed. I mean, no way. She just used it the last. I know, but just used it and then also just killed the entire team while on high charge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that's uh, that's what was. Going I, I on don't there. think I don't think that was something that was considered. Fraggy is somewhere out on this side, I think, right now. Which is why, so so he's coming all around here. Let's look. So he gets this epic shatter, and then charges, and then he is swinging. 
Uh, and then they get shattered. Okay, I mean that that's really all it was. They didn't they didn't confirm things quickly enough. So basically, I if I had to redo this for them, I would have said don't engage with the diva bomb. Use it more to clean up because that's a guaranteed wipe of uh, a shattered team. Okay, so um, nothing I really want to say out of that fight. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Oh, our favorite map. Oi, oi, oi. I yeah. really like Finland's comp. That is a comp that we can definitely run insanely well. I've been saying this! Okay, yes. well, now we've finally gotten to the point where we can start experimenting with these things. It seems like the team that initially starts with GOATS Wins. tends to win due to alt advantage. Now, we can either start with GOATS the whole time and get countered by shit like Sombra Doomfist, or we can start out with a comp, see if the enemy team switches to GOATS, and then react by switching to GOATS. I am I like the latter more, unless the map explicitly requires us to be playing GOATS. So this is something that got um, talked about uh, by the casters and also at some other point, but I can't remember where. The thing is, this comp that Finland is running right now with the McCree is designed to make your opponent switch to goats, and then you go back and switch to goats because you're yes, confident you can beat them in the mirror yes, match. Yes, yes. That's what this McCree comp is Thank for. You. And it's meant to get rid of this dumb shenanigans, which is designed to counter goats. <laughs> yeah, the point is to force your force your opponents onto goats, and yeah. then you switch. To so goats. let's talk about this more towards the end. Like we'll talk more about what we want to do comp wise after we've seen the various comps here. And what works and not, because everything you see changes, unlike our tier of play, where everyone just kind of forces their picks through to the end until it's like, oh, 30 seconds left, maybe we should have a Ryan. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. Of course, the dive team takes the fight in the open. The goats team went all the way around and is going to now push in from the safety of cover so that the dive team can't get to them. Okay, I'm confused. Because it kind of looks, okay, so Finland wins this, but if it was us, we would have lost <laughs> no no we went back they lost like no finland it, lost they should have lost yeah no they did lose but they kept going we wouldn't have done that we would have backed out like why um well he... let's look at it that was a very long fight yes very long fight going all the way back to this is fine possibly so china has the point they're all up they're about to they dive onto the Zen. So at least you beat. beat. That fast? Holy cow. So they beat and they go in. All right. Farah tries to ult. So they start with the advantage. They start with the advantage. It's still an even fight. So at no point do they feel like they should be leaving. That would be... So they still have trance. So they're going to at least stick it out for the trance. And their tanks are still in. Tanks plus Brig? Interesting. Well, or at least, like, I feel like, like, yeah, like, the safest thing to do would have been to get out, but they had very favorable matchups here. So like, Fraggy's on on the Zenyatta. Uh, out here we have Brig versus something or other. Let's let's see. But they end up, like, yeah, yeah. They're all they're actually all grouped up. So it's really even though, like, so so China is all split around the point still. Finland has been grouped up taking 3v1s or 2v1s, taking good fights. So they just made the most of the situation. So it's not that they're trying to contest the point. It's that they realize that they can get picks. And at a certain point, it, it ends up being just winnable. Yeah, it's not it's not really goats. No, they just keep the EMP. Mm -hmm. They keep the EMP. Early, like EMP is obviously before anything coming in, and it's not some. It's not trying to get the tanks. And it's just a zen. It's just death for the Sombra. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so I don't know. I not would. Worth, I would generally say, yeah, either either just switch or instead of trying to like, w what do you accomplish by EMPing the back line over here? Not a whole lot unless you're trying to like solo kill the the Zen prevent him. okay so prevent him from trancing 
Wait, wait a second. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong side. Um, you're trying to prevent the 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 support ults from coming out, I guess. Sombra EMPing the tanks. Both tanks are like just dead. They can't move. They have no shields. They're free. China, China's now just on go. Oh, this part. Oh, oh my gosh, that bomb. Exactly. And I don't blame them because that's like a, there's no way he would throw the bomb there kind of moment. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Rewind and show the bomb again. Yeah. This bomb, these healers, they go this way and then they go back here and hide. So even if the bomb was out there, you can see obviously what Yveltal was, was ready to do. He was ready to prevent them from being able to hide by booping them into the opening so that they die to it. This bomb should have gone from like here over to like in the air even with this door. Oh. Oh my god. Are you sure that wasn't oh. planned? That looked pretty No, it wasn't. There's no way you do that on play. Okay, and this is so let me just play it because I explained it to Rosie too cuz Rosie thought it might have been planned. Here we go. Can't expect that to get kills either way. You're just like that was a misplay on the two supports there for that to work. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you can you can see from Shaz like that it wasn't gonna go through the door, but I guess he didn't notice. So you guys, just just because I want to finish this out, like when when the healers decide to hide here. So basically, if you throw the bomb through the windows, you are forcing the supports to hide in here, where your team that's over here kills them, right? There is no good reason to throw your bomb that so it gets stuck on the inside. You do not want the bomb in here and force them to run away. You want to stop them from being able to run away by denying all of this space. Okay, here we go. So they swapped. Uh, who swapped? We were talking about that just now. Finland swapped goats. Finland swapped goats, like I explained yep. earlier. But it's a little bit late in the whole cycle of things. So they're basically going to get one fight with goats now. Uh, but they do have a shatter coming up. play on the two supports there for that to work. So again, they go for the early D.Va bomb. With the shatter. Yes, yes, with the shatter. Only getting one kill out of that is kind of weak. Theoretically, the Reinhardt. It's one of those things. I, I know, I know. I want to talk about that as another. And it works out. Later, if you want to take a note of that. Sure. I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter how many kills you get, as long as you end up winning the fight. I mean, with also like. It doesn't matter how many kills you get with the ult, as long as you win the fight. Theoretically, you want to throw it through the window. Oh, here so I am explaining it. It just didn't come your team can kill fast them. enough. You don't want to force them through by putting it on the inside and keeping yeah, them out. Yeah, but if we put it on the inside and they thought that he put it on the outside, so they came in. Exactly. Well, but that's that's that can't have been. It. What I'm taking away from this is what Rosie said at the very beginning with regards to the comps and just forcing people to switch. To oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that also works against the Doomfist Sombra. I mean, yeah, Doomfist Sombra, which literally counters goats. Um, That works beautifully. We can play McCree. Um, we can play Doomfist Sombra fairly okay. We can play the McCree comp fairly okay as well. So we already have the basic structure to play to playing these comps. You just have to flame every once in a while and learn how to actually work together on them yeah so zen gets split off like ideally he doesn't want to have to trance that early he would have tranced though because they're shattering right there so it's, i guess it's not bad it's just super risky being off to the side where you're stun fodder so trance exactly no it happens it's more than Stop. You have to listen to myself getting ridiculed <laughs> over and over. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Bless yeah, you. and this is just China being the better Overwatch players. I, I, I think I would just leave it at that. They outplayed them as far as individual, like, 
Okay. Team positioning, Brig getting stuns off at critical times, Ryan's being too aggressive and or not aggressive enough, Diva bombs at various points. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave we'll leave later. this as you know for for your own analysis. Thank you.